Hey guys, welcome to Boner Planet Classic Series. I'm Dave Thomas with Kevin Conlon, and today we are checking out the Whitetail Master from Bear Archery. But before we do that, make sure you click the like button and subscribe. Our goal right now through the end of this year is to try to do one video per week for you guys, and we don't want you to miss it. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the Whitetail Master from 1996-1997. We got this old bow in as part of our classic series. You can see it's got the really cool bear archery medallion right here on the handle. Uh, we found out it's from what, 96, 97. It was made for Bass Pro. Um, so if you're shopping at Bass Pro, you'd be able to pick this. You this would have came across up. it. Yeah. This medallion they got there is still in use today. Yep. That raised gold medallion is beautiful. Um, you know, the bow is not as light as the bows are today, but we weighed it out as like 4.8 as you see it. With That's, these accessories yeah, on there. Yeah, with these so. accessories on there, so it's not too bad. But, uh, you know, when you're comparing the old bows to the new bows, it's, yeah. that's what it's going to be. They said it was 65% let off with adjustable at 50. This one feels like 50 for yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It said it was shipped at 65% let off, but uh, yeah. Um, you know, we shot it. We're going to do some more shooting with it. It's, uh, you know, as always, these classic bows are fun to yeah. shoot. Yeah, and this one's featured in, we were talking about real tree hardwoods, it looks like. It had draw lengths and peak draw weights, uh, so it looked like there might be two different cam settings, I'm not sure, but it, it stated in two different lines. So it says 26, 27, and 28, 45 to 60, and 55 to 70. Then it says 29, 30, and 31 inch draws with 45 to 60 and 55 to 70. So that would tell me there might be a different cam setting or system you might have to get. Depending on which which bow you you know pick up and you go, but it had to have been one or the other. Uh, let off again, 65% is shipped at they said and adjustable to 50. The power unit is uh, eccentric power composite wheels, 44 inch axle axle, so very long when it comes to axle axle. So we don't know the brace height. I'm not 100% sure. You could tell it's like nine inches though. It's huge. That's a huge brace height. All right, guys, Whitetail Master, 66 pounds, 29 inches of draw. We're just going to shoot a 350 grain arrow through it and see how it goes here real quick. Two hundred forty-six. All right, here we go. First shot. All right, all right. It's uh, It doesn't have as much punch forward as some of the uh, ones we've seen in the past, so that's good right off the bat, I noticed. Okay, so for me, it's always fun when I get to shoot an old bear because my very first bow I ever shot was a bear traditional bow. That's the first nice. bow I ever hunted with over 50 years ago. Wow. Well, maybe not. 45 years ago. <laughs> 45 years ago. I wouldn't push it too much. You don't want to go back yeah, further. <laughs> 45 years ago. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this would be, you know, when they started changing bows where they were getting the nice let off and stuff like that. I mean, there's no comparison today. Yeah. The, the, the great thing is now they got 80, 90% let off. Yeah. But this is a smooth bow. It was smooth. I could draw it real nice. It cycled nice. And yep. I did feel the let off. I could hold it. Actually, and, uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. I, 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 at first, I felt it was pretty spongy, but then, then I actually grew on me a little bit, like the way it shot. It didn't feel bad. Now it does have a slight jump, um, but nothing like we see on some of the other classic bows. So I'd say this, and during that time frame, this is probably one of the better shooting yeah. without that jump, where it just pops your hand forward, yeah. as we see on other models. I could, I could see myself in a tree back. I could do it. Hold, I could do holding on a deer and. I could shoot a deer with that. You know? I mean, I wouldn't want to, but I could. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just to give you an idea of where bears come from and where they're where they've gone to with their compound bows, you could see. I mean, everybody knows, you know, bear archery was founded on a lot of traditional bows with Fred Bear, but as you can see, they as they moved into the compound segment, there's a ma massive difference between where they started coming from and where they are today. But it's a great transition, great product, great company. So if you guys haven't been to beararchery.com, definitely check it out. Yeah. This is just the start of it. They got bows like the legit back behind us here that'll fit adults and kids. So, a lot to choose from. But um, and they have bows yeah. like this that you could buy at the store that are set up ready, ready to, go to go for hunting. Which that one is. That is yeah. a uh, box store model that yeah. is ready to go. Yeah, so yeah. that actually probably is the same as this was as a box store. Model. Yeah. There you go. 
we're finding synergies here. It's awesome. So hey guys, thanks a lot for being a part of this with us. The class series has been a lot of fun. If you get a chance, consider joining TBHP to help us continue doing this series. It's really important that we do cover these older models so we can keep them in history forever and uh, never forget them. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time on Boner Planet Classic Series.